हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सुधा दरवाल एंड आफ्टर माय वीडियोस ऑन सिलेक्शन एंड बबल सॉर्टिंग टुडे आई केम अप विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इंसर्शन सॉर्टिंग सो लेट मी फर्स्ट टेल यू दैट दिस सॉर्टिंग इज आल्सो एफिशिएंट फॉर स्मॉल लिस्ट्स एंड इफ यू आस्क मी व्हाई देन आई विल टेल यू इन द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सॉर्टिंग द लिस्ट और यू कैन से द एरे is divided into two sublists sorted and unsorted here guys note one thing that the array or the list is not divided physically right but only logically we divide the list in two sublists so now let us take an example suppose we have an array a and the elements are 7 8 3 1 and 2 so we have five elements array index position 0 1 2 3 and 4 the first element is taken in the sorted list this is the first subset and the remaining elements of the list like 8 3 1 and 2 they are considered to be in the unsorted list this is our sorted list 7 at index 0 and the remaining elements of the array from index 1 to index 4 they are in the unsorted list so what happens here in each pass one element from the unsorted list is inserted in the correct position of the sorted list right means uh one element means 8 3 then 1 and 2 one element is picked from this list unsorted list and it is inserted in the sorted list right hence as a result your unsorted list will shrink after every pass and at the end of the last pass all the elements will take their correct positions in the sorted list so what it means it means that your list will get sorted at the end now come back in our example and let's try to sort the array through the insertion sorting so guys in pass 1 we have this is our unsorted list so one item means suppose 8 it is picked from the unsorted list right so our unsorted list would be 3 1 2 right 3 1 2 is our unsorted list now 8 is picked from this from this position the remaining will be 2 3 4 and now 8 is checked with the elements on the sorted list right this is our unsorted list and here comes our sorted list so guys uh, 8 it is checked with the sorted list like 8 is 8 is greater than 7 is 8 is greater than 7 yes it is so there is no shifting required in this case 8 will remain in its own index it will remain at index 1 however now index 1 is considered to be a part of the sorted list means 7 will come at the index position 0 and 8 will come here so 8 will remain in its own index position 1 as it is greater than 7 and so there is no shifting and 7 will remain in its in its position and now 1 will be in the sorted list it the uh, remaining unsorted list will be this much 3 1 and 2 this is the remaining list at the end of pass 1 we have one element is inserted in the in its right position then pass 2 in pass 2 one element again 
it is fetched from here from the unsorted list so the unsorted list here is one two and index positions are three four so three is picked from here right and now three is compared with the elements of the sorted list starting from end of the list like this is the sub list eight is three is greater than eight no three is not greater than eight so here shifting is required now eight is shifted to one position right in the array this is the position number one uh, sorry zero one and two so eight which is in position a one this is the index number so eight is now shifted towards right so it will come at the position eight right it will shifted here then again three is compared with seven so th is three is greater than seven no three is not greater than seven means seven has to shift right as that uh, as eight has shifted to the towards the right side so seven will shift here at the index position one and we have a space for our three for our element which we have picked from the unsorted list so we will place here three at the index position zero then you can see that three seven eight this are the sorted list and this is the unsorted list then at the end of the past two we have three elements in our sorted list again like pass one and pass two let's see pass three so one element again it is picked from the sorted list this is our remaining list one is picked and it is compared with each element of the sorted list is one is greater than eight no so means now our sorted list will contain four elements zero one two this is three uh, sorry it will contain three right so one is greater than eight no one is not greater than eight so eight has to shift one position ahead it will come at index position three right now one is checked with seven is one is greater than seven no seven is shifted okay from position one it will come at index position two right you can see here then again one is compared with three is one is greater than three no it is not so three is again shifted to position one so we have zero position at index zero we have the space for our element one right one three seven eight this is our sorted list now let's take pass four pass four we have our remaining element which you have in the previous page that two is the only remaining element here so uh, it is picked from here and it is compared with each and every uh, let me let me make here same one three seven and eight this is our result of pass three right so two is picked from here in password two is picked from here and it is compared with all these elements so it is compared with eight is two is greater than eight so no so eight will be moved to the last position here zero one two three are the elements in the sorted list then we have four elements one zero position one then two and three and four so eight is moved to index four now two is compared with seven is two is greater than no seven is moved to index three then two is again compared with three is two is greater than no so three is moved or shifted you can say to index position 
second and then one is compared is two is greater than one yes two is greater than one so no shifting here now one is not shifted to this position as soon as we find the situation where the element is not greater than the element there then shifting is not required as in first case right so one is not shifted here it will remain in its position zero and the element or element which we have picked it will be inserted in the index position one so guys you can see that at the end of the pass four we have our sorted list one two three seven and eight so this sorting is efficient if you have partially sorted list because in that case number of comparisons would be less like uh, let's take uh, let's take an example like in pass one uh, let's take a scenario like uh, we have a list we have a list of an array and uh, that would be in the reverse order so what we have to do in pass one we have one comparison right in pass two we have two comparisons in pass three we have three comparisons right so what are the number of comparisons in this case number of comparisons number of comparisons would be one in pass one then two in pass two three four plus till n minus one right so as the number of passes increases the number of comparisons also increases so that's why guys i told you in the starting of the video that this sorting is efficient for small lists only so guys this is the reason why it is sufficient uh, why it is more efficient than uh, for small lists only and also insertion sorting provides better efficiency than bubble and selection sorting of list if the list is you know partially sorted uh, as you have number of comparison would be lesser in that case thank you friends for watching this video if you really like it please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you